Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're continuing on our series for dummies where we're revisiting the basics of Windows 8.1. So if you're not yet to Windows 8.1, please do so um, and join us in this series. Uh, first video was about Windows 8 versus Windows 8.1 and how to actually access and get that upgrade to Windows 8.1 if it's not already done. Second video we did was going through a tour of the charms bar and understanding the uh, dual type operating system with the new tiles and the control, um, the desktop, the desktop of uh, Windows, which feels, feels like two windows in one. Today, we're talking about the control panel and the settings. Now, even in the control panel and the settings of Windows 8, we have two worlds colliding together. And it does show the dual nature of Windows 8. So in Windows 8.1, you have the full-fledged control panel like we had in other versions of Windows 8, uh, Windows 7, sorry, Windows Vista and Windows XP. And we have a new settings panel that is typical of Windows 8, um, 8.1. So how do you access both settings? Well, in Windows 8.1, the first, let's check first the control panel, which looks pretty much like a Windows 7 control panel. Uh, you go into the lower left in the corner, the hot corner, you'll see that little start button. But instead of clicking on it, right click on it. And there you'll see different options and one of them is control panel. That's one way of going there. You can also use that little search icon. Um, if you're on Windows 8.1 update one, you have it on your start screen. If you don't see it there, go into the hot corners on the right side and click search in the charms bar. And you can also type control panel and it will show you the control panel here in the search. So if you look at this, this looks like a good old control panel and you can have it by categories. I mean, if you look at this, we have the impression of being in Windows 7. It's exactly the same control panel. You got system security, network and internet, hardware and sound. You got programs where you can uninstall a program, uh, user account and family safety, appearance and personalization, clock language and region and ease of access. This is a good old control panel and this basically works pretty much. You can, you know, check for the icon view and you have all the options. And this is everything that you want to play around in the operating system. And you have all of those features pretty much the same as Windows 7. So if you're looking for a control panel feature that you had in earlier versions of Windows, they're still going to be here. So for example, if I click system and then I click into device manager, what do we have? Well, we have device manager that is actually here. And uh, you can see that uh, all the drivers and stuff are there and uh, visible and you can check your drivers and update them. And you know, everything is pretty much the same. Everything looks like Windows 7 in this control panel. So whatever you were doing in the control panel before, you can still access in Windows 8 control panel. It is still accessible. So two ways, uh, well, many ways, but the two ways you can easily access Either go to the charms bar on the right side of the screen and search for control panel and you'll click on it or go into that start button, right click on it and you'll have in the menu the choice of going into the control panel. But in Windows 8.1, we also have a control panel or a settings panel that is typical and only of use to mostly 8.1 features or eight Windows 8 features. How do you do that? It's you go to the charms bar on the right side of your screen once again and go into settings. At the bottom of that settings you'll see change PC settings and if you click here 
you are now into PC settings. You'll have PC settings and device accounts. You have the OneDrive search, privacy, network, time and language, ease of access, update and recovery. And if you have a Windows 8.1, there's another spot here where you can switch to the control panel. So uh, you click on whatever option you want and you'll have all sorts of options and details about Windows 8 settings. So everything here, the display, devices, everything's there, but it's in a different way of showing stuff. So it's quite interesting because you do have two different worlds of settings, which is a control panel and the settings panel. So if you're looking for something for a setting, um, if you are used to ha using the control panel to find some settings and some inner, uh, you know, workings of Windows, you still have access to that. With and most options are, I would say, 90%, pretty much 90%, the same functions and the same uh, way of working. And if you are not used to using the control panel, if you're new to computers, for example, with Windows 8 or if you are looking for specific Windows 8 uh, settings, then you know that you can go into your charms bar. So remember, charms bar and settings. And there, just click change PC settings to go to these PC settings of your computer. Everything is there from the account information to, uh, you know, anything about your computer, the network, and uh, so on. So uh, take a peek and uh, look at your Windows settings, either through the PC settings, which are more Windows 8 oriented, or through the control panel. So that's two way of actually going into settings that you might want to play with. Um, check it out and um, make sure that you understand and, you know, People are scared of going into control panel or into settings. They're scared of breaking the computer or, you know what? Uh, first, you can't break the computer. Uh, the worst you can do is, you know, mess it up. But I do uh, want to stress that it's a good idea, even if you don't uh, know a lot about computers, just to go check out the options and the settings, uh, both in the control panel and in the uh, PC settings that you have in Windows 8. And don't touch anything, just look at the options because it's interesting, a lot of people start going through and say, oh, I always wanted to slow down my mouse button, my mouse pointer, um, or increase, you know, uh, change the resolution of my screen. And people just don't know how to do that because they never go around and play with their settings. But by checking this out, at least you can find where some of the settings that might be interesting to you are located. And it's always good to have at least a minimal working knowledge of Windows so that you don't have to call that tech guy all the time just for a minor problem, for example. So uh, check it out. Two ways, you have your, your control panel still available and you also have the settings of Windows 8 that you can go through so both of them are uh, available. If you enjoy our series for dummies well why not subscribe to our channel we have hundreds of videos online trying to help you uh, use Windows 8 to the maximum maybe you have a feature a problem something you'd like us to make a video of why not ask us and we'll try to put the video online. And hopefully you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.